This rifle, my rifle, cannot, under any circumstances, commit an assault. I have dozens of guns. This pistol cannot, under any circumstances, commit an assault. It's a pistol. It's a tool. People commit assault. People commit crimes. There's no such thing as an assault rifle or an assault pistol. There is an assault on your life, on your freedom, on your liberty, and in this video, on your crypto. Today, in Operation Anonymous Crypto, I'm gonna teach you how to buy everything with crypto, 100% off-grid anonymously, while our governments around the entire earth work on enacting totalitarian laws to increase their control, increase fear, so they can increase power. It's come to fruition in many, many countries. Now here in the United States, it's just led us closer to a civil war. They will never get our guns under any circumstances. And they know that. That's not the end goal. The end goal is much, much more complex. And to be brutally honest, brilliant, because dumb people are allowing this to happen. It's time to wake up and see what's happening in front of you today in Operation Anonymous Crypto. So I'm going to break a few things down as you already expected in this video. However, there are a few things I got to touch on leading us to this place, but I promise I will get to the subject at hand. Just give me a second. Now, a lot of you know that I've had a bumpy four months dealing with governments, agencies, lawsuits, recently found out that two people were put in my ghost program the most successful program on earth when it comes to becoming a ghost protecting yourself your privacy your security your personal freedoms being able to disappear and not deal with all these laws these social credit scores these psychopaths coming after you your money your family everything that goes with it well it's been infiltrated not once but twice by people put there actually paying members put there to try to wreck the program because there are a couple people so afraid of what we're doing at Privacy X that they're actively trying to destroy it. Thankfully, we've been able to ward them off time and time again. I do wanna say, the amount of support I've gotten over the last couple months has been nothing shy of shocking. I know that I haven't been able to respond to all of you guys' messages and emails and on different social media platforms, but oh my gosh, like it is, it is actually quite impressive and it's kind of what keeps me going and makes me go down this fight because it has been nothing but a struggle, nothing but a fight for no reason. If I would have just picked a different niche, uh, I wouldn't have a micro fraction of the problems. If I would have just started a gun channel and started showing the three, four dozen guns in my collection and started buying more guns, even though I might've got demonetized, I would have had a real easy time. If I would have started a channel just about technology, I would have a real easy time. But about this topic, it's rough and it has been a rocky road and I will never give up. They keep coming after me and I keep knocking them down and I appreciate your guys' support. Now it's my time to fight back. At the end of last year, you guys know I had a few projects that were supposed to come out and I was super excited about, I was pumping them up, I was getting so excited and then everything happened and it was all timed. Well now, luckily, we're past that. And so next Friday, mark your calendars, February the 17th, how to disappear my series starts so let me give you a quick backstory and then i promise i promise we'll get into the crypto but this is actually relevant to what i'm going to be talking about in crypto so next friday february 17th i'm gonna have a video coming out every friday for the next eight weeks and what it's going to be it's not going to be a video like this me talking to you it is going to be a produced video they're going to be about 30 minute episodes and it's going to be me in the real world think of vlog style but in the real world actually using tech, talking about things, how to travel anonymously. Right now I'm traveling the country. As we speak, I am in a very, very rural, remote part of Texas, but I've been, uh, you know, in different places. I've met some of you. I'm going to continue meeting you guys. We have some events later on this year. I'm going to be hosting in Las Vegas. So we have all kinds of stuff happening, but I've been filming this series behind the scenes. 
And it is really cool because it's eight parts. They're about 30 minute episodes. I produced them myself. Originally, I was going to work with a TV company. Long story short, they wanted to go full dumb. I'm just going to leave it at that. They wanted to go full dumb. They just wanted to dumb this thing down to where it was worthless and just cheese ball entertainment. What I'm going to be doing is almost kind of like a docu-series type thing where you guys are going to garner massive value. But instead of me sitting at a desk and, and doing tutorials or explaining things or showing you things, you're going to see how I use it in the real world around the country. I think I filmed in six or seven different states. You're going to see me actually implement things like anonymous crypto. You're going to see me buy burner phones in real time in stores, how to use them, how to activate them, how to make them anonymous, what you need to do. You're going to see me travel anonymous. You're going to see all these things in an actual video. So as opposed to you know, me talking about it, I'm going to step up to the plate and show it. So it's going to take these things to another level. There's one thing I ask. If you like this series at all, please share it. Because we all know, we all know that there is no chance of any social media platform. You guys know that I've been booted off Reddit. That was my biggest social media platform. We had over 330,000 uh, followers over there. I, I got banned on Twitter. How did that even happen? But I got a new Twitter and I should be good now. Apparently it was a glitch when Elon took over and a bunch of people got banned, but I got a new Twitter. So at Cody Hawk X, you can see right here in my username at Cody Hawk X. I'll leave a link down below. Go follow me on Twitter because I'm, I'm becoming more active over there. I was pretty frustrated when I got banned, but go follow me over there because I'm, I'm putting out the fire all the time over there as well. So you guys can follow that, but at Cody Hawk X over there. Also, um, this series will be coming out starting next Friday. It's going to be a weekly series every single Friday. So mark your calendars. It is going to be great. If you like it, if you don't like it, you don't like it. That's fine. But if you like it, please share it. That's all I ask. I'm not charging for it. It's going to be not a money thing. It's just going to be, if you like it, please share it. Because the only way this gets out is word of mouth. I cannot advertise. They won't let me. I was all set to spend like 30 grand on advertising for this series just to get it out there. Google won't let me advertise. Instagram won't let me advertise. Uh, Twitter won't. Twitter won't let me advertise. Reddit booted me off Reddit altogether. No platform will let me advertise. So I thought, well, maybe I go behind the scenes, like with Rumble or something. The, the the problem I'm having with that, and I've been in communications with somebody at Rumble to launch this series. The problem with that, well, there's like six problems with that. So I'll get into that in another video. And then I've I went to like some dark web advertising stuff I can do, and I'll probably do that. But that's really all I can do. So anyway, Mark Khan for that. But that leads into what we're going to talk about. So let's bring down the curtain and get into this operation for today. So if you're watching this video, you're probably familiar with crypto, like Shiba Inu, or like ETH. That's a popular one. Or like Stellar. That you used to be a popular one. Maybe Ripple, right? They might do a comeback. Maybe EOS. I used to have a bunch of them. Uh, you know, so many different crypto coins. Cardano, ADA, Litecoin, Bitcoin, and the king, and I do mean the king, Monero, right? So there's tons of different coins out there, and they all look nothing like this because these are just representations of, of something. What they actually all look like is this, just ones and just nothing, right? They're on the blockchain. Well, we'll get into that. But a lot of people ask me every day, how do I buy stuff with crypto? What's the best way to utilize crypto on a daily basis? Well, just get some crypto debit cards, right? Is it really that simple? I mean, this is a Coinbase Visa. They take Visa everywhere, don't they? And this is a crypto.com visa. I, I put some blue tape here because it's an anonymous ghost company, which we'll talk about in a second. And uh, I, I it wouldn't be anonymous if I, if I showed you the name of the company. So I put some tape here. They don't come with this tape. Sorry, that's an aftermarket. But uh, yeah, you just get a couple of these debit cards and then you're good to go, right? Well, there's a little bit more to it than that because the problem is when you go, they do a face scan because we all know that face ID is becoming the biggest thing out there. So they do a face scan and, and a picture and then you verify your information through what's called KYC. Know your customers. After 9-11, they got KYC. So this is actually, in theory, a Coinbase card is more intrusive, get, get this, more intrusive than just going to get a bank account. So it would actually not behoove you at all to get one of these debit cards, right? Well, maybe yes, maybe no. So I'm gonna talk about three different options we have. The first option is using something like one of these debit cards, and I highly recommend it. And this is one of the dozens and dozens of things that I go through with my clients in the ghost program, is how to get ghost businesses, and then how to we use agents to be able to be agents of the company to get anonymous 
crypto cards, right? So it's all legal. It's all above board. Everything we do at Privacy Access is legal. It's been tested a lot lately, and we've come out on top every single time. But everything we do at Privacy Access is legal. All you're doing is getting an agent, a representative of your company, to be able to go through the process, and, and we help everyone in our ghost program with that process. So that's what I would imagine would be the best way for most of you, and frankly, that's what I do a lot because it's completely and utterly anonymous. But are there really other ways, or is that the only way? Because it would be a little facetious for me to come out here and promote, well, huh, I've got the only way to do this now. Yeah. No, my ghost program adds a ton of value, and I know some of you have taken it, most of you haven't, and uh, it's up to you whether you do. But that is a good option, and it works very, very well, and I've helped hundreds of people be able to do just that, and thousands of people through the program, some are in crypto, some are not, and they'll decide whether or not they want to do that or not. But what else could you do? Well, Monero, right? Monero is one of the best options, in my opinion. Now, People come to me all the time with, well, Cody, this privacy coin and that privacy coin, and should I use this privacy coin? No, not right now in a down market. And the fundamental reason is Monero has a community. Most of these privacy coins, some are great, some are garbage. You will see something Privacy X coming out with. And I know I've been talking this for a long time, but it's because what happened, right? The first thing we're coming out with is our eight, my eight-part series, which I'm very proud of. That's going to come out. Then we've got some stuff coming out on our on our privacyx.io website, the behind the scenes stuff. And then we've got some of our crypto stuff coming out. So we have some massive projects. Also, if you're a client of PrivacyX, we're actually doing a video course that is for clients only right now. So it's being filmed right now. And when that's available, it'll go to all my clients, past and present. So I've got some really cool stuff coming out this year. Most of it was supposed to come out last year, but we're ramping this stuff up. This is my big F you to all the people who attack me that I am doubling down. So today talking about crypto, well, crypto is under full scale attack. Did you see that the United States came out and they plan on banning DeFi and they plan on banning staking altogether? Now you might say, and I know what you're going to jump to. You're going to say, Cody, they can't do that. They don't control staking. They don't control blockchain. They don't control DeFi but they control the people. And here's the thing, the United States is gonna do it, Canada will follow suit, uh, <laughs> all of Europe, it, well, that's not true, there's, there's three countries I can think of in Europe that most likely won't follow, follow suit. Most of Europe will follow suit. Most of Asia has already followed suit. Mining is okay in a lot of Asia, including China, but they're going full circle because they're launching their CBDC. See, CBDCs are struggling, so they're having to come at this from another angle. Now, FTX saved a lot of you. A lot of you don't realize that FTX is your savior right now if you're in crypto, because if that didn't blow up this right before that election, the midterms of the United States, they were getting ready to drop the hammer on crypto. But because FTX exposed all those politicians, now, don't get me wrong, SBF is an absolute moron when it comes to everything, but maybe maybe he's good at like coding block, fine. But when it comes to everything else, he's an idiot. But what he did, that exchange blowing up, and CZ doing what he did was a gift from the crypto, whatever, the crypto gods, because that's the only reason they couldn't drop the hammer. So now we've got a division in our own internal political system. So now instead of going after crypto, they're going after the banking part, which is the only part the Republicans will get on board with because they see that as a direct competitor to the petrodollar, right? And that's the one thing they'll stand up for. So they're not coming after crypto right now as a whole. They're coming after staking and they're coming after making it illegal for citizens. Now, unlike firearms, which are in our constitution. Unfortunately, crypto is not in our constitution. And unfortunately, because of the SWIFT banking system, there are about 70 countries that will follow the US almost instantly. So I know for a lot of you who aren't in America, you might be thinking, well, how does this affect me? Just wait, it's coming, buddy, it's coming. Just like what we saw with the, um, the 2020 thing, right? I can't even mention it. It didn't exist. You can't even talk about it because that's that's uh, that's not allowed anywhere, apparently, in the land of freedom of speech and the land of social media, as long as you're only social on what we tell you you can be social about. But the reality is, you saw how the countries navigated those waters. Well, watch what's coming. And so 
I've got inside information on what's coming as I talked about in my previous video. And so as soon as my eight part series is up and it's gonna show you guys how to do these things, I'm gonna start breaking down what I would do. Keep in mind, I can only say what I, what I would do legally. If you decide to take my advice or not, that's up to you, but I'm not giving you any kind of advice and I'm not recommending you do anything. I'm just gonna show you what I do and then you gotta make your own decision. That's all I can do for you. But I'm gonna do it in a big way because this is getting ridiculous. So if I use Monero, Will that work? With all those things said, even with everything going on, will that work? Yes, Monero will work. There are a lot of companies, you can see some of them here, but there are a ton of companies that will accept Monero, which is fantastic. But what about your on and off ramp? Well, I hate to say it, but it comes full circle back to ghost businesses. This is why I've been talking about it for so long. This is why people beat their head on the wall and come full circle back to me. Because the reality is, that's really the only way to keep you out of the system with the KYC and KYC is a global thing So you need a stand and you need an agent that can legally be part of a business Now you might be saying well, can I do this without a business? No, that's called fraud. That's the problem. That's literally fraud But with the business you can actually have somebody be a part of that business So some of you might be saying well Cody, let's take this layers Is it really that easy? Can we take some layers out of this? So you're telling me it's as easy as starting a business. No, it's got to be a ghost business. Okay, let's say I get a ghost business and I get this agent. Is it really that easy? No. Good question. I'm glad you asked, Jamal, because the reality is, the reality is, a commenter named Jamal actually asked, but the reality is, uh, when you go through this process, what about business records? Well, what if they're ghosted? But what if they're not? What if you have something like the Corporate Transparency Act that actually comes through? Only a small part of that passed and it's a pathetic part that doesn't matter. But what if it actually ever does? Would that affect the system? I'm glad you asked, Jamal. Again, I'm a good comment. I don't know where his comment is. If we can find it, we'll put it up. If not, I'm trying to give him credit. But it was a great question. It's something I've never really touched on. And I like the question. Well, yes, we are still good because you would have to disclose the beneficial owners and the, the people who own said company, in theory. Now, we don't now. It doesn't look like we will anytime in the near future, but let's say we did. What you would do is you would have that company owned by an offshore holding company. Well, don't you have to have the officers in it? Not if it's stock, right? Because where we change the ownership of an LLC that's like manager uh, managed or member managed, we'd be able to, to, to restructure it for stock. Well, don't you have to disclose stock only in publicly traded? We're not going publicly traded. Well, where's the stock? Isn't the stock coming out of a corporation in Delaware through a C Corp? Maybe. Depends on your situation, whether we file as an S Corp, utilize an LLC as the corporate veil, or if we go to a C Corp. But either way, the main shares can be held by a holding company. Doesn't the holding company disclose? Not with the trustee because you would need an international subpoena. So there are a few different options we have. Now, this is very broad based and there's a million scenarios. It's why I work with so many people personally because everyone's situation is different. There's no one size fits all for anybody, but this is an interesting conversation, interesting dynamic. All this to be said, why is this so important? Does any of that really matter? Yes, because you need an on and off ramp. If you just go down to your local Chase bank, you're actually more private and secure than using any of these crypto exchanges, including Binance, including KuCoin at this point, including almost all of them. Now, there are a few true decentralized, and I talk about them on Privacy X. I've done videos on them in my uh, tier list video and some other videos that still hold to this day. People are like, well, have you done an update? There's really nothing to update. In fact, the market has crashed so much that that video is more relevant now than it was then. But once the market picks back up, I can do an update. But right now, it, the only thing I the only thing I was wrong about in those Trillist videos is Luna. I was massively wrong, and I, and I own it when I'm wrong. That was the only thing. Everything else I was even more right about because the market went the way that I thought. So how's our off ramp? Well, with Monero, you're going to need to be able to utilize your Monero directly, which is ideal. Now, what about tumbling? Well, tumbling works well, and I recommend a few tumblers. But you have to be able to do a gift trade, or you have to be able to do a cash purchase. Because I do recommend following all laws and you can follow all laws and be private in all aspects. And you've got to decide what you decide to do and what you decide to put out there. The disclosure of information, that onus is on you. And if you decide to disclose more or disclose less, that's between you and whoever. But what I'm saying is there's options out there to be able to break this down. 
through cash purchases. So a lot of people will do OTC Monero over the counter, or a lot of people will do OTC Bitcoin. Do not do that and think that it's private because it's not unless it's been tumbled. That's why I always revert back to Monero. Now, can you go from Monero swap into another currency? Yes, and that's why I think Monero is a great gateway because if you get Monero, use that Monero to to buy like through your hardware wallet, make sure all your crypto is always on a hardware wallet, except for crypto that you're gonna use. Now you're gonna see me in my, my series actually use crypto. I do one, I don't wanna do any spoilers, but I, I anyway, I'm gonna have a trailer come out, but it's, it's pretty cool. I'm very proud of this because it's me showing it. It's me basically, I've been talking and doing tutorials for a few years, it's me putting my money where my mouth is and showing you guys in the real world how this stuff works, how to implement it, how to implement the technology, how to buy this stuff, how to go in the stores and do it as opposed to just seeing me talk in theory. Now my theory works. It would be kind of like if your college professor decided to go out and start a successful business and show you, look, everything I'm teaching you, look at it in the real world. That's what I went out and am and, and doing. I'm actually filming the the uh, last episodes now, but the, the first ones are ready to go and Friday the 17th is coming out. So I wanted to, to let you guys know, mark your calendar for next Friday because it's gonna be uh, it's gonna be rocking. I'm super excited. I'll be right here, so you'll be good to go. 100% free. Will I be charged anything? So, Monero is kind of the gateway to that. Monero is gonna be the gateway to um, being able to switch currencies. But can you buy other currencies directly? Only if you have an on anonymous on and off ramp. So I've gotten some flack by people saying, well, Cody, when you talk about these videos, you basically only talk about the solution you have, but are there other solutions? So I'm gonna open it up to you. Are there other solutions? Because at Privacy X, I have a team of researchers. I work on this myself for, man, it's almost 13 years now. I don't know any other solutions. This is why I'm so big. It's, it's not that my structure and my system is my system because it works. It works better than any other system I've ever seen ever. But if you know a better on and off ramp, I'm all ears. But the fact is I've never been able to see one. There are zero videos on YouTube. There are zero videos on Odyssey. There are zero videos on Rumble that I've ever seen that show any solution. So if you have one, please show me. And if it's not in video, please tell me. Send me an email, send me a message, because I would love to explore it. And if it's something viable, I'll give you credit or work on something with you. But the reality is I've never seen it. So I just wanted to kind of mash this out a little bit with the community because I know some of you are very smart. Very, very, very smart. I'm not pretending like I'm the only one. Just because I'm on this video, some of you, I mean, uh, have your own videos. I know some of you have your own channels. Some of you do your own stuff. And it's awesome. Some of you have your own businesses. Some of you are a little bit more behind the curtain. That's awesome, man. That's awesome. I'm not, I don't come on here and pretend I'm the only one who knows anything. I've just mastered my system and my structure for so many years because I know it works. But if there's anything else, but no, the system I talk about going from the gateway of ghost businesses is the only system I know to buy things truly anonymously. Now, once you're in, can you switch coins? Yeah. And if you go from Monero to a, to a specific coin, because a lot of places don't take Monero, but they might take Bitcoin, they'll probably take ETH right? And so you could do a switch. Should you tumble them? You need to really be careful. And here's the problem with tumblers. A lot of agencies right now are following a lot of these coins. And when they follow these coins, what do they do? They follow these coins from the point of origin. And so you might have, you know, kind of like dirty money where you might have dirty coins that might have been mixed up in something. But unlike money, where you might have an agency that recorded some serial numbers, this is going to be in a blockchain ledger indefinitely. And so it's going to come full circle. It's almost like finding DNA evidence later as the technology gets better. There's going to be a lot of people who have to answer for a lot of crimes that they didn't commit. So they're going to have to prove they're innocent because they're going to look guilty. And that's how this is working with crypto as blockchain gets better and as AI gets rolled out. Did you see what Microsoft said? Did you see what Google said? And did you see what Apple said in the last calendar week? All three of them said one of their biggest focuses right now is AI. Don't laugh because these are three of the biggest companies on earth. And if they're focusing on AI, you can be... 100% certain that this is going to be massive. It is going to be absolutely massive. So that's what I want to talk about in today's video. I wanted to talk about using it with crypto. The best way, instead of trying to be some kind of offshoot, is just get one of these cards anonymously. And there's lots of other ones. You can get one from Binance. You can get one for, well, well, I don't know if I'd say lots of other ones. We've seen some exchanges crumble. And stable coins are becoming a problem. And that's why they're talking about regulating this stuff because of what happened with stable coins. So we're gonna have some fundamental issues. 
Anyway, guys, I want to break this down. I really appreciate you guys channel this video. If you haven't already, make sure you subscribe. Give this video a thumbs up. Finally back to making content. This is going to be our year. This is going to be a big year for privacy. This is going to be a big year for people taking action. But sadly, this is going to be a big year for people taking action against you. I said in my last video that we have about 18 months, and I stand by that. I think we've got all of 2023 to kind of get our ducks in a row. And by 2024, we're going to be in serious trouble if you haven't take, got your ducks in a row. In my opinion, it's just my opinion, but if you look at what's happening with social credit score rollout, if you look at what's happening with the way they're trying to take custody of digital currencies, the way they're trying to get into CBDCs, the way they're trying to restructure society as we know it, the way they're trying to pose fear to gain more power, and they're doing this across the board, the way they're already projecting these other 2020 like issues coming out of the blue but you better be prepared because we know what's happening but you know it's 100 above board so looking at what's happening around you in my opinion crypto is a great option because it gives you a level of freedom that you're not going to have elsewhere but you got to do it right otherwise they can pull it anytime they want already they've got a system where they're keeping a database of everyone in all of these different exchanges 100 of them now it doesn't matter. I'm in the database, but I'm in the database under anonymous business, so they don't know who I am. It doesn't matter if you're in the database. It matters if they have any actual valuable information on you, which in my case, they don't. And hopefully in your case, they don't. If you've gone completely through the ghost program, they, they, they definitely don't. Um, and, and you're able to go through this process. But if not, if you're still in the process, understand nothing to panic about, nothing to be afraid about. I get people every day, oh man, I'm, I'm trying so hard to get into the ghost program. You get in when you get in. If you decide to, that's great. And we'll get you done. But the reality is, we have a little bit of time. But taking action, the sooner the better. Because things also can jump up. I believe we're going to have 18 months. I could be dead wrong. We could have 4 months. Could have 6 months. We could have 12 months. Could have 24 months. But we know they're actively making steps towards this stuff. So it's good to take action. Appreciate you guys watching this video. Make sure you subscribe if you haven't already. And I'll see you guys in the next video.